What some see as a mess, others view as manageable. And if the land swap at the soccer spot takes another weekend of long, hard bargaining, this lawmaker says the sky's not going to fall. This isn't going to drag on months and months, but my priority is to get it done right. Right now, the ballet's keeping its toes in place. FC Cincinnati may own the lot, but the ballet has a legally binding long-term parking lease. We're not there yet, and uh, we hope to be there very soon. Um, but we are, we're not at a point right, right now where we're ready to change our position. Music Hall hopes to have a final noise impact report ready for council by Wednesday. It's not clear if the wrench thrown into the parking garage can be removed by them. This is where District 1 police cars would park. WCET hasn't granted approval for changes critical to allowing that land swap to go forward. Councilman Chris Seelbach calls the whole process a mess. Faced with a tight construction schedule, soccer executive Jeff Birding stated publicly to arts representatives he would enter into a formal contract with them to move off the dime. There would not just be a, oh, we'll work it out going forward, but literally a legal agreement that creates a framework by which these issues are resolved. It sounds like City Hall might be okay with that, recognizing a need for more time. The administration thinks closing a portion of Central Parkway on game days might be worthwhile, but no final decision about that has been made. And no one could say with certainty if the police memorial would have to move. I think we're close. Let's hope we can get there this week. If we can't, you know, I think one more week would be okay too. And lawmakers sounded quite frustrated today about the slow drip pace of what others described as progress. They wanted clarity today. Instead, they got mostly cloudy. Reporting live and over the Rhine, John London, WWT News 5.